Okay, so we got lunch and dinner prep to show you. Yeah. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. So what I like to do to be organized and ready is have all the containers laid out. We get our containers from Walmart and the dollar store. And this is going to be dinner. What I'm going to show you here. We're going to have some, some days with carbs, some days without. And we eat this with baby spinach. The reason why we buy this is because it's already cleaned, washed, and prepped for you. We have two cups of this with a tablespoon of this zesty Italian dressing and it's the reduced calorie. What I'm gonna do is we need two days without carbs and four days with. So I'm gonna show you what I do with the carbs. This is brown minute rice, whole grain brown minute rice. I measured out two cups of the minute rice dry and two cups of this no salt added chicken broth. What it does is it makes your rice taste a little more lively, a little more flavorful, and you can salt and pepper it after if you like. So we eat, we get half a cup each. So these are my containers here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and measure out half a cup of rice. Every day that there's rice, that means it's a training day. So two things. First, now I'm gonna measure the meat and I'm gonna use this scale. This one is a perfect portions food scale. We got it a few years ago at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is a digital one. You can get any kind of scale anywhere, Walmart, dollar store. Also, the other thing I want to show you is that there was one container I didn't fill of rice from this batch because we had some frozen from last week. If we have anything left over, we don't throw it out. We measure it and we throw it in the freezer and use it for the next week meal prep. Yeah, it means less meal prep for the next week. Yep. And so now this is lean, extra lean ground turkey. And we just did it on the stovetop. We put a little bit of cooking spray in a pot in this pan. Yep. And then we sprinkled some red hot, Frank's red hot on it after it was cooked. Yeah, we cooked it. It's really quick because it's so lean, it cooks so fast. And then we just drained a little bit of the liquid and whatever little bit of fat came off it, not very much. And then just some Franks, very simple and quick. Yeah. And the best part is that we don't, we just look in the flyers that week. We see what meat is on sale and we just go and pick it up. And I can tell you that this is four packages. So four, one kilogram packages of extra lean ground turkey. And that does about a little over 12 meals for us. So I'm gonna measure out first the days, the non-training days where we just need the meat, the protein. So you just turn on your scale, put your container on, and you wanna zero it out, which is this button right here. That way it just measures your meat and not the container too. And we want three, sorry, we want four ounces for Kyle. And then I'll do one of mine just to show you. I'll do one with the rice in it. So you just zero it out. Got to get three ounces. There we go. Hey, that's pretty close. Whoa, you almost scooped that perfectly the first time. Imagine yeah. that. That would be awesome. Actually, I have. I have done it a couple of times. If it's not on camera, it doesn't count. Right, friends? Okay, well, this one's going to count. Okay, hold ready? On, hold on. Wait, we gotta see the okay. ounces. Gotta zero, zero it, out. it out. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Let's see what we got here. It's upside down, but you guys will see. Uh, oh, so it's close. a little bit over the three ounces. Pretty good. Pretty no, good. no, no. This is four. This is yours. Okay, so you still you still didn't make still it. Still didn't make it. It's all right. It's okay. I'm still cool. <laughs> so the friends, a lot of people we hear they get turned off by meal prep because they think it takes forever. But when you do it the way we do it, you actually save time. You buy quick cooking things like lean ground turkey. We also have some lean chicken breast in the oven, which we'll show you after. Minute rice. Minute rice, the baby spinach. I'm also going to show you some baby carrots, which are super easy and fast. They're already cleaned. They're, They're already, you know, cut peeled. and prepped. 
peeled, yeah. Pretty much, you just throw them in water and boil them. And the other thing is, like, people think, oh, like, it's, it, I'm glad that we show how easy and simple it can be because we've had weight loss success and huge weight loss success and kept it off. And that's, I think, another reason why most people don't start. One, they think it's time consuming, like they're gonna be slaving in the, in, they're gonna be in the kitchen for like 12 hours cooking. Mm -hmm. And also they think it has to be like fancy organic gourmet meals. And it really doesn't, like this is clean. It's no salt chicken broth. It's Frank's Red Hot. It's brown rice, lean ground turkey, baby spinach. It's really lean, clean stuff, but you know, by adding the Franks, by adding the chicken broth, it makes it a little more palatable, tasty, and also I think sometimes people don't start because they think it's costly. We we are pretty much, we're on a good, on a budget, and we get under our budget every single week. You, minute rice is not very costly and actually if you live in the states you can probably get these for way cheaper than we can here in Canada so you can do it fast and budget friendly and we're gonna show you we got more time-saving little mini tips that all add up for your day and to have more time in your day to do what you want to do coming up Good dude. Doo -doo 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 -doo. now it's time for the lunch baby carrots gonna do half a cup these it's two large bags of baby carrots we just boiled them in water until they were done to our preference and I put a little bit of this fine sea salt in the water when I was boiling the carrots for a little flavor so we're gonna get half a cup each we have already one container done so I'm gonna do five containers each here okay now we're ready for the chicken so this is boneless skinless chicken breast and Kyle baked it I try to do like uh, our own version of like a blackened Cajun style chicken mm. we got two containers two well. containers worth chili powder and I, I literally just sprinkled as much as I wanted of these on the top paprika ground cumin ground black pepper and garlic powder and a pinch and a little bit of that sea salt went on top of those two pinch, a pinch. baked them at 385 for an hour there you go so now I'm gonna measure it out before I put them in the containers I did just very little trimming of the fat on the outside um, there wasn't too much these were pretty clean so and so here we go this is my container now we use pink containers for me or blue lids and we use red lids for Kyle but if we run out we put N's and K's on the top of the container with some paper and tape and then we know exactly who's who that way we use every container in the house so there's one for me all right so we're done this is what it looks like so that's our lunch and we got one more time saving tip for ya. Especially, we find our mornings are the most valuable because we do fasted cardio. So, any minute you can save is perfect. We like to preset our coffee for fasted cardio so that it's already ready to go. So, I'm going to just set the delay right now and I'm going to set it for 5. 30. And I think most coffee makers nowadays have this time set delay function, but I just feel like a lot of people don't use it. And like a five minutes or 10 minutes saved in the morning feels like hours to me saved. Because you would have to wake up, measure it all out, and then it has to run. And then you have to pour it and let it cool. This way, when we wake up, it's already done, you just pour it, let it cool. And we've been doing this weight loss thing for six years, so we've learned all the ins and outs and the small bits of time you can save here and there, and time is your most valuable asset. Yeah, so I'm gonna just measure the coffee out for you. We found that pouring it up to water in for up to six gives us each a nice big cup of coffee. Yeah, we have one big cup of black coffee before our fasted cardio. <laughs> Cut. Um, okay, so, we like to make our own mixes of coffee just like we do cereal. 
So we're gonna do three tablespoons of this Tim Hortons original blend. And look at this time saver. It's already in there, the tablespoon. Na na. So one, two, mmm, that smells so good. Three, and then to make it a little fancy, you're gonna do two tablespoons of this Van Hoot Belgian chocolate light roast. And it's just flavored coffee. There's no sugar or added sweeteners or anything in there. One. And while I do that, Hank's gonna drink water like he always does when we're on camera. Yep. Now friends, let us know if you do this. I like to put a pinch of salt on top of the coffee before we brew it. I don't know, I think it, for me, it, it helps take away a bit of the bitterness. Yes. That's... I mean, this is pretty good coffee. We're using generally, you know, high quality coffee, but you never know. That's what my stepdad taught me to do then. So I do it too, see? Little spinch. Smells great. Shut her up. This time is ready. It'll be brewing when you wake up, you'll be smelling fresh coffee. See you tomorrow, coffee. Okay, that's it. That's the meal prep Disney theme. Let me know. What are you? Are you a Lilo and Stitch or are you a Mickey and Minnie? I myself am a Lilo and Stitch kind of gal, but I'm cool with Mickey and Minnie. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Are you a Lilo and Stitch kind of person or a Mickey Minnie? <sighs> and don't forget to like and subscribe or what? Or what? Frozen carrots of doom. <laughs> That's pretty mean. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, guys.